guys, so in today's video we're going to be doing a full review on the Huawei Y7 2019. So I'm going to be looking at all of its specs once again, we're going to be looking at the hardware and just all the things that this phone does give you in 2019 and what makes it worth it to buy. So I've had this phone for about a month and I've tested everything out, so I've tested out the camera, I've tested out the video camera, I've tested out everything, so yeah, I hope this video will help you on deciding whether this is a phone that you want to buy or not. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so this is the Huawei Y7 2019. It comes in two colors, Aurora Blue and Midnight Black. I have the black one as you can see here. And this is the design of it. Um, it is very, very beautiful. It has a very modern look to it. And I absolutely love the design. So the bezels on this phone are super small. It has an 86.7% screen to body ratio, which is amazing and gives you a great big screen to work on to view content and things like that. With this phone you have a 6.26 inch HD plus display, so that is a very nice display and reasonable for the price that you're paying for the product. At the bottom you'll see you have a very small chin which has the Huawei logo on it and at the top you have the dewdrop notch. Now this notch does not invade your usage at all and with apps that are optimized for notches nowadays you won't have it bothering you at all but there is a setting that you can toggle so you just go into display notch and then you can select whether you want to hide it or you want to keep it so yeah they have that there for you as well if that is something that you're interested in using. At the bottom of the device we have the charging port which is micro USB and two audio grills one for the main mic and one for the loudspeaker then at the top we have the headphone jack so if you're someone who isn't a fan of the removal of it this phone still has it then at the side we have the sim card tray and this can house two nano sims and a micro SD card and then lastly we have the volume rockers and your lock button you have two methods that you can choose from to unlock your phone. Number one is the fingerprint scanner and it's probably for me the fastest version. And then you also have face unlock so it just unlocks using your face. And now let's get to the cameras. So the back camera is a 13 plus 2 megapixel AI dual camera setup which has an aperture of f1.8 and it can record 1080p video with no auto stabilization and it has a bunch of other features as well so you can just see a photo that I took of a flower and then you can also go into the aperture setting so that is getting a portrait mode on your photo as well which can look very very nice and can result in very beautiful pictures. So the selfie camera has 8 megapixels and it also has a smart selfie toning flash. It also has 1080p video which is amazing and it has a bunch of other features. I'm going to show you guys the screen recording that I took on the phone explaining those features. So what you want to do is you want to go into your camera and then you want to click on more and then you want to click on AR lens. So what this does is it gives you a bunch of filters and this is something that's really fun if you're on your friends or maybe like taking photos or something so here you can see you have a bunch of filters that you can choose from and then you can also download additional filters as well so they have a bunch of weird filters on here so yeah this is also a fun thing they included in their camera app so to sum up, this phone has a decent camera and for taking everyday things and hanging out with friends, it is amazing and can do a decent job. Now let's take a look at some photos. Here is the photo of the flower that you saw me take. I think it came out really, really well. And then next up, we have this photo, the selfie that I took with my sister. I just love the look of it and how it reacted in the light of the nature. This is just a photo of a beautiful ceiling that I saw. And I love how the colors popped out in this next picture. It really did stand out and I love how it blurred at the back. This is just of a red cappuccino that we went to the coffee shop with. And this photo, it saturated everything so perfectly. Here is a photo that we just took outside in the gardens of a coffee shop. And then lastly, we have this beautiful photo. And again, the colors came out magnificently. Lastly, we have the performance of the phone. So it has a Snapdragon 450 octa-core 1.8 gigahertz CPU. So I know that's a very big term. So let me just put it in easy terms. 
it is fast it can do everything that you want it to do i love scrolling through social media on this phone and just doing day-to-day -day tests like they're replying to emails or maybe just watching a youtube clip it's great for that so you will not be disappointed in performance and has three gigs of ram which means it can work at a reasonable speed and as for battery it has a 4000 milliamp hour battery so this thing's battery life is amazing i did a full day with it in a video i'll have it linked in the cards up top it did not disappoint so battery is something that really really works for this phone and that's not going to be a problem for you at all with this phone okay so for those of you who are interested in the software of this phone it has emui 8.2 now if you don't know what emui is it is the operating system of huawei on top of android that gives it the huawei look so here you can see it says emui version and then it says 8.2.0 and then we have Android and it takes Android 8.1. So that is Android Oreo. So here you can see once you tap on it, it goes like that. And then you also have this little thing that pops up that I don't really get, but yeah. So that is everything that I have to share with you guys about this phone. Okay, so that was my review on the Huawei Y7 2019. This phone is targeted towards youth and parents who are just looking for a phone for their kids for a reasonable price and for kids who are looking for a phone that is not as expensive as most phones these days. Design is very modern and it is a very good looking phone and it fits in with the phones of today and it doesn't have that big of a price tag on it. So I really recommend this phone, especially for someone who is on a budget. I will still be using this phone as a daily driver for my business side of things, so my business emails or social media, things like that. So yeah, I'm not just gonna leave this phone, I'm still gonna be using it and just still trying everything out. Okay, so if you did enjoy this video and found it interesting and helpful, give it a thumbs up, it really does help. And comment down below, letting me know what your thoughts are on this phone. If you're a subscriber, click Clicking on the icon on the screen, click on the playlist to see all of my other tech related videos and click on the video to my previously uploaded video. Love you guys so much, be weird and be proud of it.